It's been almost a year and a half now since a Benton County Sheriff's Sergeant was shot while in the line of duty. Now he's recovered, and as KZI 9 News reporter Rhoda Cross shows us, he's taking political action. August 11th, 2012, a day Sergeant Peterson will never forget. He shot me um, three different times. The man behind the trigger, Demisio Cardenas Jr. The suspect got 10 years for shooting me and then just 10 years for shooting the other officer and that's it. Under Measure 11, Cardenas Jr. was sentenced to two 10-year sentences after a high-speed chase that ended outside of Albany. He shot Sergeant Peterson and a Salem police officer. It's ridiculous and it's kind of an insult that law enforcement officers um, can risk their lives and risk everything and Somebody can try to murder him and they can just go to prison for 10 years. Sergeant Peterson is taking action. He teamed up with State Representative Sarah Gelser, who introduced this bill last week. If it passes, it would raise the minimum mandatory sentence for the attempted aggravated murder of a law enforcement officer. The bill would increase the penalty from 10 years to 20 years if the victim's an officer in the line of duty. I'm really optimistic about this bill. Um, certainly, uh, Sergeant Peterson has a very compelling story. I think there's a lot of common sense behind this bill. It's received broad bipartisan support thus far. We spoke with a private investigator today who didn't want to go on camera, but she says increasing minimum mandatory sentences isn't a good idea. She argues it takes power away from the judges to decide what a proper sentence should be based on the situation. She also believes that though law enforcement provide an important role in the community, the bill would prioritize their lives over anyone else's. But Representative Gelser says it's more than an attack on the officer. That crime is not just the assault on the life of that officer, it really is an attack on the public safety. Representative Gelser's presenting the bill at a public hearing a week from today. In Corvallis, Rhoda Krause, KEZI 9 News.